So you're on the 19th hole, you're on your back patio, you're on your porch, you want to look golfy drinking something. I have the I thing for you. Welcome back to the golf shop. Jim McCleary here, and this one's a little bit off topic. It's still golf related, don't get me wrong. Uh, does it have to do with fittings? Probably not. Does it have to do with repairs? Definitely not. Does it have to do with reviews? Certainly it can, right? That's what the McGolf channel here is all about. This one I get to take a break. And what happened was last weekend we went to a wedding in Wisconsin for my niece. Congratulations, Em. So uh, we decided to make this a multi-purpose visit. Now, uh, for somebody, you know, there, there are certain things that people look for when they go to buy products. Is it made in the USA? Is it mom and pop? Uh, do veterans get involved? Is it cool looking? Is it a good product? All these things, right? And I found these folks at the PGA show two years ago, and since then they have failed to, uh, well, they have never disappointed. Let's put it that way. Never disappointed in their stuff, and their business is growing by leaps and bounds. And, and this is no different. So we tried something a little bit different this time around, and we went and got a McGolf glass. Now, oh, geez, Jim, what's all that about? McGolf glass, right? And, and well, it's all, it's a McGolf glass with a McGolf golf ball in it. Yeah, right? So what you do is you have a glass that is made in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna tell you, you get a little card that tells you how to take care of it. This is about as good of an unboxing as I'll ever do. And you, you pull it out and there it is. So. You get yourself, so for me, I now have a logoed glass. Let's see if you can, if anything helps to see it. There we go, there's a logo in it. I suppose I could stuff something inside of it. Let's see, that, that, here we go, logoed glass. Okay, not bad, something gray behind something white. Uh, but it has the golf ball sticking out of it and with the clover that we truly like, they have centered all these for us. So this is called a rocks glass, right? They have several different kinds. So before we get started with that, let's get started with the other stuff. If you would like, subscribe, hit that bell and this, uh, the notification button. That way you get more of this information when it gets out in the YouTube universe. We have a live stream that is on Mondays at 5.30. Talks about the same stuff. Uh, join us, it's alive. It's one-on-one, -on -one. it goes for about an hour, hour and a half. I believe that you would like it. All right, so we got that part of it. So here we go. So this glass, right? I've got, I've got a couple of these glasses with a different kind of uh, clover golf ball in it. And uh, I've, I've kind of wanted more. So here's what we do. We also sell them in case somebody wants them, get a really unique Christmas gift, that kind of thing. So let's go, let's talk, let's go back to the beginning. The group is called Ben Shot, all right? Ben Shot. It's a father and son team in Appleton, Wisconsin. <clears throat> and it started out as a glass that would have a bullet going through it or look like a bullet was going through it. And they come in several varieties. The, not only the bullet size, as in like nine millimeter to 50, there's four calibers, I believe. They also come in a shot glass, a rocks glass, a wine glass, and a beer stein or beer mug. They also have a decanter and you can make these sets, okay? Now you go, Jim, well that's pretty cool, a golf ball. What else goes in them? You talked about a bullet. And yes, indeed I did. They also have a, they got the bullets, they got the golf balls, and they have these items like baseballs, footballs, fishing lures, broadhead arrows. Oh, I know I'm missing a few. Uh, oh, a Lego. We'll get in there and they all get in here. Now, everything but the Lego, on the, oh, it has a fireman's ax and it has a throwing ax and I imagine there's more coming. Now you go, you look at it and you go, oh, that's a little plastic piece, and, you know, because the golf ball's in there and that's kind of plasticky, negative. All right, the, the, if you go there and you look in their catalog and the, the baseballs, the footballs, all the other little tools are actually pewter and they go through a, we'll call it a tinning process so they don't rust when, uh, when you go to wash these by hand, right? Go to wash them by hand, and so it's very, very substantial. 
I mean, I, I, you can hold it like this and there's a neat little uh, a handle and all the rest of them do the same thing. There's even one that's got a shotgun shell in it. So just more of that. So how's this become? Well, Ben of uh, Ben Shots comes up with the idea and they decide that they're gonna use veterans. Oorah, way to go. Now, how, do, how does something like this get made? That's the interesting part. So what you see is that there is a series of kilns that heat up the glass and get it up to a particular temperature. And that's kind of annealing the glass as it would be from the mechanical standpoint that I would think of it like that. And then what happens is the, uh, the, the worker, the individual, who, the, who you may be seeing in here is a uh, reservist still. So congratulations to him. And what they do is they put it in front of this torch for about a minute and a half and then they push a mold. Now they're not all the same. Obviously a golf ball is going to look different than a, a Lego, then it's going to look as a very thin axe type uh, implement, okay? But whatever they're making for that day, he pushes that mold in to a certain spot, takes it back out and puts it back into the kiln with all the rest of them, and the kiln will then start cooling down so it doesn't crack, all right? These are pretty stout glasses, but I mean, it's glass, right? So they got to treat it in that way. That, that in and of itself uh, was pretty cool. I watched this guy go through at least two or three kilns worth and only one really didn't make it. So, yeah, you know, there's a skill set there. Now, what do you do after that? Well, after they cool down, they go to where you install whatever little implement of destruction or item that you want that goes in there. It goes to the, we'll call it the UV oven, okay? In the UV oven, they use a UV uh, sensitive or UV, yeah, activated epoxy. So they squirt some of the epoxy in the little divots that have created by the guy previously. And then you uh, carefully put whatever it is you're putting in there. In this case, it's going to be golf balls. Uh, you put that in each one of these glasses. Now, as you can see, these things are on a rack and that's to hold them still so that that, uh, that object that's in there can get a good firm bond. You put it in the oven, which is nothing more than a bunch of UV light, and you see as they put the racks in, as they get done, by they get to the last rack, the first one's ready to go. And once it gets off of there, into the box it goes, it goes to a, a happy customer, and there you go. Now, that's a real basic you know, this is how it gets done. Now, these, these folks, you would think, oh, it's mom and pop, until you get to see their warehouse. Now, what we, what we saw there was just one aisle out of three, and they're one on each side. So there is a lot going on in this place, and there's a, they're up to about 20, or 20 to 40 folks that are making all this go, all right? And, and so now they also do some other stuff. And just like you saw uh, on my glass, they do logoing and they do some special etching. They have stuff for the thin blue line, a thin red line, Second Amendment stuff, you know, and whatever logo that you would want. I had another logo for a different kind of glass. I, I proofed it and it came out outstanding. They're laser etching and then there's some sandblasting and then some artistic uh, painting in it. And those go, th you know, after they've been glued together, these things get uh, put on and then and then they get boxed up and go. So it's a whole nother cycle. So this is really, really, really a team effort. Okay. There's a sales, uh, sales company or sales team out front and they're in this office. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this is these guys initially started in a warehouse that was owned by Thomas Edison and they were able to take some of the bricks from that particular area and they had it reconstructed in their sales area. And it is cool. I have to admit that is very, very cool. You're also hit by around 14, 12, 14, 16 patents on how to put these glasses together. That's outstanding in its own right, all right? 16, 16 ish patents in order to uh, put together glasses. That's, that's saying something. So they've hit a mark, right? So now you have a good sales team, you have a, a good team of business people, and then you got a good team that are putting them together which results in a very, very good product, very, very good customer service. So I just want to throw that out there to you. 
If you were looking for something like that, it makes for an incredibly cool Christmas gift. They have gift sets, that kind of stuff. I know I sound like a sales pitch for it, but I'm getting nothing for this. I just think that this glass is super cool. In fact, 99 times out of 100, if you're watching my, my live stream, that's the glass that I'm using in order to you know, talk with you while we're doing the live stream. All right, so again, if you're interested in something like that, go to binshot.com, scroll through it, see the possibilities, maybe there's something there for you, and you'll have yourself an item or an heirloom or just a really cool gift to give to somebody or treat yourself. <laughs> That's the way to go. So if you like this, like and subscribe again, put that stuff across the bottom, and also remember our live stream, and also if you got any questions, put them in the show notes below, and lastly, let's see your scores go low.